Sunday's action kicks off in West London as Chelsea welcome Arsenal to Stamford Bridge. Chelsea's poor form at home continued in midweek, losing a two-goal lead to draw 2-2 with lowly Southampton. Frank Lampard's penalty at Stoke last weekend saw him move into second in Chelsea's all-time top scorers chart, but he could find himself on the bench on Sunday. Three games in eight days, a big ask for a 34-year-old. John Terry came on as a late sub last weekend and looks set to continue his comeback after two months on the sidelines. But Rafael Benitez will be without John Obi Mikel and Victor Moses, who are both away at the African Cup of Nations. Arsenal were in fine form throughout December, but have struggled since the turn of the year, although they did beat Swansea in the FA Cup in midweek. Last week's defeat to Manchester City leaves the Gunners six points off a Champions League place. Laurent Koscielny was sent off in that defeat and will miss Sunday's game, whilst Arsene Wenger will also have to do without Mikel Arteta. He's out for three weeks after picking up a calf strain. Both teams, uh, I think, have attacking styles. Uh, Chelsea is today a team uh, with uh, uh, many good attacking players, so it should be a, a game with goal chances. Chelsea will be looking to do the double over their North London rivals. They won the reverse fixture at the Emirates 2-1 with goals from Fernando Torres and Juan Mata. Chelsea's form at home isn't fantastic, but I think the inclusion probably of John Terry on Sunday will shore up, which is becoming a little bit of a leaky defence. And I think that the Premier League in general has been very leaky defensively. There's not been some, we don't see too many nought noughts flying around at the moment. It's always 1-1 one, one or 6-1 or 8-0. Or it's, it, it's very, very leaky. So I think there's goals in here again, 5-3 last year. I can see this a 3-2 victory probably for Chelsea.